Good morning, everybody. Mike Gabray back again. And I just wanted to take a minute to talk about, just briefly, about social media and the effects I think social media is having on people. This is, I told you these videos would be kind of random, but this is a random one. Um, social media is an amazing, amazing thing. I think we can all agree that it brings people closer, it keeps people in touch, and it gives people platforms that they otherwise would not have had um, without it. So it is a great, great thing. It's a great era to be alive. Um, but one thing I want to warn against, and I just see this happening a lot, is that people look at others on social media and use that as a measuring stick for their life. So we look at social media and the pictures that people post on social media and the sayings and everything else, and we assume that that is their everyday life. And that's a problem. The problem is people looking at people on social media and thinking they're the people's lives on social media are so glamorous, but mine, my life is just normal. I just have a normal life, but look at them. They're on vacation. Look at them and their kids. Look at them and their achievements. Look at them and what they're doing. And I think that that's doing you a huge disservice. You have this wonderful platform, yet it's making you feel miserable about your own life. At the end of the day, social media, Facebook, and the rest are really just giant digital photo albums. Look at it like that. It's a giant digital photo album. So you see somebody there posting their workout, and then you start thinking to yourself, man, I need to work out. I don't ever work out. I can't get myself motivated. The truth of the matter is, the person that's posting themselves at the gym or going to the gym, that could be their first time going to the gym in three months because they're not motivated either. But you don't see those all the other three months. You just see the one day they went to the gym and assume that they stay in the gym. And that's the problem. You're going, they live this way, I live this way, and the truth of the matter is everybody's kind of the same um, for the most part. You'll see them smiling with their kids and having a good time with their kids, but you don't know what kind of kids they have. You don't know if that's the first time in two days that their kids acted up or acted right or made them want to take a picture of their kids. You just don't know. You can't assume that they have great kids because their kids are smiling and posing for pictures. It doesn't mean that. Um, same thing with finances. People posting vacations and things that they just bought. For all you know, maybe they worked three years, four years, five years saving for that vacation that you see them on. While you're sitting here thinking, we never go on vacation, maybe they don't either. Maybe they worked hard for it. Maybe they had to wait longer than they wanted to. So it, look at it like your own photo album. If somebody were to come to your house and turn the pages of your photo album, they're not going to see pictures of you arguing with your spouse. They're not going to see pictures of your kids talking back. They're not going to see pictures of you guys struggling financially or a husband and wife getting laid off or anything. They're going to see all, you only take pictures when it's a good time to take a picture. So social media is the same thing. Stop glamorizing other people's lives and then diminishing your own in the process. Your life is just as great as theirs. There's things that maybe they do have that you would trade for, but it's a trade-off. You probably have something that they would love, you know, or vice versa. But either way, the point of all this is to say, look at Facebook as a giant photo album. Give, be appreciative. When you see somebody doing something good on Facebook, give them props, love that, and aspire to that. But don't think that they're doing something you can't do or that their life is every day this and yours is just every day grinding or just whatever, they have a great life and I don't. So, because it's not like that. Nobody's life is perfect. Nobody's marriage is perfect. Nobody's, nobody is perfect. Nobody's career is perfect. Everybody's taking their bumps and bruises just like you are. So um, don't think of it any differently. Congratulate them, bless them, but just know that those blessings that they have can also be your blessings as long as you believe that they can be your blessings and not that someone else always gets the good stuff and you don't. So again, social media is a wonderful thing. I love it. Um, it's how I keep in touch with everybody, obviously, just like you guys do. But just make sure you're not diminishing your life while you're watching other people live 
small portions of their life um, and you know sometimes exaggerating it to make it seem more than it is so love yourself love your life and take everything on social media with a grain of salt all right until next time i love you guys peace and go get it